Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about TSH test, that is thyroid stimulating hormone test. Before beginning the video, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. First of all, let us know what is TSH. TSH stands for thyroid stimulating hormone. A TSH is a blood test that measures level of thyroid hormone. What is thyroid? Thyroid is a butterfly-shaped small gland that is located near your throat. If you like, you can use your two fingers and palpate your thyroid glands. Your thyroid makes hormone that regulates body how it uses the energy. It also plays a very important role in regulating your weight, your body temperature, your muscle strength and your mood. TSH, a thyroid stimulating hormone, is a hormone that is made in your brain. TSH releases from pituitary glands. These pituitary glands are located at the base of your brain. If the thyroid level in your blood is low, then your pituitary glands make more TSH. If the level of thyroid in your blood is high, then your pituitary will make less TSH. So, in a way, we can say TSH regulates thyroid. TSH levels that are too high or too low may indicate that your thyroid is not working well. So, what is this test used for? This test is used to check how well your thyroid is working. Now, why you may need a TSH test? You may need a TSH test if you are showing symptoms of overactive thyroid that is hypothyroidism or underactive thyroid that is hypothyroidism. Symptoms of hypothyroidism include anxiety, weight loss, puffiness, tremors in hand, difficulty in sleeping. Symptoms of hypothyroidism include weight gain, constipation, tiredness or fatigue, less muscle strength, hair loss and low tolerance of cold temperatures. So, what happens during a TSH test? During a TSH test, a small sample of blood is taken from your arm, usually from the vein located near the elbow joint. The sample is then sent to a lab. The results are quick and often come in one to two days. Is there anything you need to prepare for the test? If you are only going for TSH test, then there is no need of any preparation. But if you are taking another test along with TSH test, then you might need to fast for several hours before the test. Which means you need to refrain from eating or drinking or taking some medications. So, are there any risks to the test? As I told you, this test is very simple and very quick. And it only needs a small amount of blood. So, there is almost no risk of the test. Now, coming to the results. What do the results mean? High TSH levels mean your thyroid isn't making enough hormones and indicates a condition known as hypothyroidism. Low TSH level means your thyroid is making much more hormone, a condition known as hypothyroidism. A TSH test can only tell about the functioning of thyroid gland. It can never explain why it is making too much or too little hormone. If your results are abnormal and if a doctor wants to find out the reason, then additional tests may be required. These include T3 test, T4 test, a test for Graves' disease that is an autoimmune condition and a test for Hashimoto's disease that is again an autoimmune condition. Now, is there anything else which you may need to know about TSH test? Thyroid changes occur during pregnancy. These changes are not significant, but sometimes these changes can lead to a disease. Hypothyroidism occurs in 1 in every 500 pregnancies, and hypothyroidism occurs in 1 in every 250 pregnancies. Most of the time, these changes go back once the baby is born. But sometimes, if these changes do not go back to the normal level, then your doctor might require to do this test to monitor your TSH levels. Also remember, if you have a thyroid disease before conceiving or if you have a family history of thyroid, then make sure you inform your doctor and you talk to your doctor before conceiving. Also, it is very important for you to get tested from a reputed and reliable lab. A link to a reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description below. 
If you have any questions or any suggestions, please feel free to comment down below. Till then, stay safe and stay healthy.